sea level rise in New Jersey and elsewhere could substantially affect coastal wetlands. This story map, developed through a partnership of several programs at Rutgers University, explores how sea level rise may affect the salt marshes along the New Jersey coast. Rutgers University scientists estimate that the sea level in New Jersey could rise between 1.1 feet and 2.3 feet by 2050 and between 2.5 feet and 5.9 feet by 2100. These ranges, along with estimates developed by others, reflect what's unknown about how various factors affecting climate change may impact sea level rise. However, these estimates all indicate a significant rise in sea level during the 21st century. Researchers want to better understand how sea level rise may affect the nearly 214,000 acres of salt marsh in New Jersey. Of particular interest to experts is how vulnerable certain sections of the salt marshes are to persistent inundation and whether existing development could contribute to future losses of coastal wetlands. Salt marshes are a critical feeding ground and nursery for dozens of commercially important aquatic species. The grasses and related biological processes provide a vast amount of nutrients and food needed to sustain the aquatic food web. Salt marshes also help filter out pollutants from the water, and the marsh peat sequesters carbon dioxide. During flooding events, the salt marshes act as a sponge, helping absorb the floodwaters as well as slowing down the speed of storm surges. Salt marshes naturally are resilient to storms and a rising sea level because they can migrate toward higher ground. But if there is a barrier on higher ground, such as a road, levee, or even a house or bulkhead, the salt marsh migration may be blocked. Marshes also naturally elevate as sediment from other areas of the estuary gradually is deposited. This process is called accretion. Scientists are concerned that some salt marshes may not be able to elevate fast enough to respond to sea level rise. If sections of the salt marsh cannot respond naturally to sea level rise, then the marsh may drown and degrade into open water. Analysts with the Center for Remote Sensing and Spatial Analysis created a series of maps to better examine where salt marshes can migrate and where they are impeded due to existing development such as roads and houses. What they found was that one foot of sea level rise may cause more than 9,300 acres of salt marsh to convert to open water in New Jersey. Nearly 2,000 acres of marsh could be impeded from retreat. Cumberland County has nearly 47,000 acres of salt marsh, illustrated in green. The marshes there provide critical wildlife habitat and help sustain the region's shellfish industry. Analysts found that more than 3,800 acres of marsh, illustrated in blue, could convert to open water with one foot of sea level rise. More than 4,000 acres of salt marsh, illustrated in purple, could migrate, while about 160 acres could be impeded from retreat. With three feet of sea level rise, more than 5,300 acres, illustrated in blue, could become open water, and more than 10,000 acres, illustrated in purple, may migrate to higher ground. About 580 acres, illustrated in pink, could be impeded from retreat due to existing roads, houses, or other obstructions. More than 22,000 acres of coastal wetlands ring Barnegat Bay. With one foot of sea level rise, about 700 acres of marsh could convert to open water or mudflats. About 1,300 acres of salt marsh, illustrated in purple, could migrate, while about 20 acres could be impeded from retreat. With three feet of sea level rise, more than 4,500 acres of marsh, illustrated in blue, could become open water or mudflats, and nearly 4,000 acres, illustrated in purple, could migrate but about 200 acres, illustrated in pink, could be impeded from retreat due to existing roads, houses, or other obstructions. While the predicted wetlands losses due to sea level rise may be offset by the number of acres of salt marshes gained through migration, scientists do not know if the new marsh areas will have the same level of ecological value in the short term as the established marshes that may be lost. By mapping these areas to identify the existing impediments, state and local leaders can make changes in policies and planning to help increase the odds that New Jersey's salt marshes will withstand sea level rise. NJ Adapt and these story maps were developed through partnerships within Rutgers University. 
Funding support for this effort has been provided by the New Jersey Recovery Fund and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Data support has been provided by the New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection and the Federal Emergency Management Agency.